I already did. Did you? Yeah, we're live. <laughs> I totally then, have to. Why, why were we fighting over the button then? Because you were just being a cunt while I was trying to eat. And now I don't care. And I have—I just came out of the shower. My hair is not brushed. Yesterday's makeup is smeared down my face. But you wanted to go live like this, so let's go, Meredith. All right. Oh my goodness! And you're without a bandana. What? What the heck is going on? And Streamyard, of course, decided to do an update. So I have a, a scroll here, and I have no idea where our intro is. Where the hell? Why? Why? All right, I found it. All right, you guys ready? Uh, wherever it is that you're tuning in from, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are simulcasting to Geek Insider, Comics and More New Jersey, uh -oh. Indie Vault, and Rage and AVC. My co-host is Belchin and Scratchin Belchin. over there. I'm waking up, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit the intro. We'll be right back. Rage. That's right, everybody. This is the vlog about nothing and everything, but mostly nothing. Except today we have something, which is kind of cool. I cannot wait. Hi, Anita. Oh, you got your bandana on. You snuck it in. Made a liar out of me. Bitch. Five seconds to sexy, ho. That's what you got to do. <laughs> five, six, five seconds to sexy. That, mm. that would be a good post. That would be a good post to do. Uh, Michaela Jade is tuning in. Hello, hello. Um, and we, uh, well, I, I know that I shared out your mor morning motivation, how you get up at six o'clock in the morning and have that kind of energy drives me crazy, woman. I don't know how you do it. I think I you're can't watch it. I get mad at her. Like, how do you do this? <laughs> what is wrong? Are you broken? You must be broken. No, no, you're accusing me of being broken. Ugh. Well, then we'll just agree to disagree, ma'am. Have a good day, Michaela. Bye. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Morning, people. I don't trust them at all. <laughs> no. I hang out with the vampires. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. for her. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's that's insane. I, that's what time I went to bed this morning. Uh, and I didn't mean to. I even told Nita, I said, uh, it was like one o'clock in the morning. And I said, I'm going to bed at 1.30. And then it was two. And then it was three. And then it was four. And I was like, uh, no, I'm really going. 15 minute marks too. Because you totally were like, in 15 minutes. 15 in 15 minutes, minutes right? Oh, yeah. man. What the hell? I, I just stopped. Like, I got ketchup everywhere, yo. <laughs> so <laughs> eating bad. your lunch. <laughs> I forgot I stuck the plate on my footstool and then I just jumped up and put my feet up there. <laughs> now I've got ketchup and I just got out of the shower and it's all between my toes and fuck you for laughing, Meredith. Oh, that's what you have cats for. Cats don't eat ketchup. They don't? Oh, no. God. Uh, I, my cats used to eat everything. Doritos See, and all I, that stuff. I've got one. You could offer him a piece of fish. The only thing he's going to eat is hard cat food. And then I got another one that'll snatch your kid's food and run away if you're not careful. And then I got a middleman who will eat like a little bit of cheese here and there. But uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, no, they're not going to fucking eat ketchup. But oh my God, I wish I had a dog right now. I'd let it lick my feet. All right. Anyway. Yeah. And then I throw it back outside where they belong. <laughs> Are y'all cleaned up? You yeah, don't look like a bloody mess. Mm. Uh, I see the ketchup plate behind you, though. Oh, fuck, man. Whatever. You know what? It, it's like, if I would have cleaned my office yesterday, like, I, I know you to tell me like, to do. Uh, pudding, jello, maybe. It's a sex thing, Carl. Fla flavored me. butter. I don't know. It's Meredith's new king, ketchup feet. 
<laughs> ketchup feet. Like, my dogs would totally love you. I like, I, I'm like I'm Chewy's like, uh I'm Chewy's. There it is. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not gonna clean myself again because that is like the grossest feeling in the world. <laughs> I was gonna say Chewy is my uh I'm Chewy's whoopee. So uh so when she needs comfort, she goes and starts licking my feet. And Pat is looking at me like, how do you let her do that? I'm like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> Somebody has to, Pat. Somebody has to lick my feet. <laughs> That's why you need a dog. Uh, Carl says it looks like you stepped on a Lego now, right? <laughs> Bloody toe and everything. I'm not showing my toe. I have a hairy one. So there is I that. That little short hobbit feet. I don't want to give a fuck. You know what's funny? Speaking of toes, the one time Pat told me that all my toes were the same size, right? And I was like, no, they're not. You know, I was like, fuck you. No, they're not. Uh, and he measured them. And they're like within a millimeter of each other, except for my big toe. <laughs> my second toe is bigger on one foot. It's supposed to be a dominant trait. Like if that means that's what that means, then this motherfucker being this damn long, you see that long yep. ass fucking toe right there? Like what the fuck is that? Like <laughs> it's the toe that goes hello. <laughs> Right. The other one's like even with the big toe on the other foot. But this one is like, God, I have to be, deformed. I couldn't even be balanced deformed. I had to be like, like, I, like, I, I don't know, man. I, at least, I at wonder, least if I have to look goofy, it could have been symmetrical. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if I should have had like, uh, you know, 12 toes because my pinky toe is extra fat. And I'm just like, nope, that pinky toe just ate the other one. <laughs> It's an Totoro. He ate his friend in Totoro, Mary. <laughs> it might be true. I don't know. I mean, I've always said that I was some kind of freaking alien anyway. Uh, but hey, I've got a package reveal today. Wow, we went sideways fast. I, I think that's like what uh, Overtired does. Mm. A little bit insane. But here, I, before, I don't want to dox myself. But Please don't. I, yeah. But look at the look at this. Don't do it, Larry. I've got. <laughs> oh, speaking of Larry, I wonder how that uh, story is coming out. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. So Nita and I, we burnt the midnight oil uh, last earlier week, week. No, earlier, earlier this week. This week. And um and hammered out a short script and it's gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh, mm, so awesome, you guys. It's insane, insane the things that we are working on. So um let me get this. So this is in a uh, Gemini mailer. Speaking of Gemini mailers, I don't, don't know. Go to Gemini you know, Comics Supply. Uh fuck. Um yeah, because I changed the brand. I can't just do the commercial. Like uh, blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Where the fuck is everything? Oh, I don't, I don't like know. This. You got it. It's like the end. All right, there course. it is. Hey, ten percent hey. discount on your Gemini mailers. Go to Gemini Comic Supply and use coupon code Volt Ten. That is coupon code V O L T one zero, and save yourself ten percent. Do it. Save money. Okay. Thank you, oh. Varian. And Indy oh Volt. my god. Yo, you know what you just did? What? You just became the announcer. No, fuck all commercial. that. <laughs> no, you're going to make a recording and we're going to have a commercial for that shit because I'm tired of hearing it. Oh, yeah. And, it, we're, and one of us is doing it and we're always tripping over it anyway. Randy, so what the hell on. with the scotch tape, man? Okay, I mean, it's got bubble wrap and everything, and these books look amazing. Hold on a second, but I'm just, I'm trying to get it out. It's bubble wrap, and it's got scotch tape and stuff like that. It's really frustrating. Hey, are you leaving for work? Yes. You want to come bye, over Pat. and say hi? Oh, come over. Come on. Show your face. There you Hello, go. Pat. Mwah. I love you. I have to watch this shit all the time. Play nice with the other kids. It's miserable. Are you playing by yourself again? My job. All right. Uh, <laughs> lotions in the bathroom. I like it rough. Wow. wow. <laughs> Did you hear that? I totally heard that. Uh, I love that man. All right. He's off to work, you guys. Yeah. 
<laughs> have a good one, honey. <laughs> Yay! We have released them from the bubble wrap. Okay. This is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait for this reveal. Hold on a second. Let me see what I have. What do I have in here? Uh -huh. Do it. Open uh -huh. it up. Let's see. Come on. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh my yeah. gosh. I'm going to, uh, well, you know, I just want to make a pretty <sighs> presentation here, you know? Don't you know? Uh, so, massive comic comics group, Tales from the Anniverse. Nice. Yeah. Okay. There's one. We've got another Tales from the Anniverse. Whoa. I really like that cover. Oh my god, my kids are gonna kill each other. Uh let's Let me see. yell at them. So this is, I mean it appears that we have things from the archive from Arrow Comics. Hmm? Perhaps? Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Signed at the bottom, Randy Zimmerman. Uh he must have had like hand cramps, man, because I don't know if he signed all of these, but that's that's nuts. Ah, I love horror. Nice. The light terrors. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have Enrage. Oh, nice. That is. That, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is dark. I love the dark. Great. Very cool. Okay. A print, which... I believe I need to be sending you the original. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That was yeah. the agreement. I but have you this. have to send it now because guess what, Meredith? I'll be there Thursday. Oh, what? Y'all want to see something sexy? What's uh, happening? What? Mm, I'm not going to dox myself because my name's not Larry. Uh, <laughs> um, this happened. What up? Ooh. Megacon. Megacon. Uh, oh, that reminds uh, remind me about Megacon. Uh-oh. No, no, because I have that press pass, remember? Oh, and yeah. And so, I'm like, if you and I are going to be running around talking to people, then I think you need the press pass, and maybe you can yeah, me get that one over. Talk. Yeah. Send the boys off together. Yeah, I don't know. She doesn't play well with others. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently Pat plays well by himself, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm trying to get these out of the packages too. Okay, the Indie Volt Revolt flipbook. That's the Chris Galf cover, and oh, then nice. if you flip it, you have. Um, oh my gosh, what's the name of this character? So, uh, so Ram Ram. Uh, so, yeah, damn it, I don't remember. So oh. So you could yell at them. Yell at them. I did. And then we have the, the Daphne Lage cover. Which is super awesome. And we have on the flip side, Russ Leach. Death can save us, Russ Leach. So, yeah, cool. I haven't had an opportunity to go in here and see what the stories are. But if you head over to linktree.com slash Arrow Comics, you can follow uh, Arrow all over. Look what I found. Wait, what? I'm trying. Oh, oh shit. Karma oh, nice. is in there. Woo! What? what? Uh, That's my story. That's my story. Pat and I co created that with and art. I you know it's so pretty in black and white. Oh, it, my it God. It is. Um, co created by oh, me and Pat and art. I see Michael Lanning. Hell yeah. yeah I did that. What up? Yeah. And, yeah, well, it was layouts by Randy Zimmerman. You should see. Oh, I saved those too, by the way. Like what his his doodles and stuff like that. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, editor credit to Nita Lanning. My, my. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are, in fact, in this book. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm cute. so excited. Yay! So, I mean, this, it, it's really a, a thicker book than I expected. It's really nice. And then on the flip side... Does it uh, smell good, Meredith? Smell it. Feels <sighs> great, right? It's not magic marker, but it'll do. <laughs> Taste it. Taste it. What's it taste like, Meredith? 
I am not Brian K. Morris. And <laughs> and since Carl is tuning in, I don't want to offend him like this. <laughs> I'm offended because I saw your tongue actually touch that shit, Meredith. <laughs> or, did it? No, it didn't. It did. I would deny it. Anyway, Sorry. that is uh, from uh, Arrow Comics. Thank you to Randy Zimmerman uh, for getting these packages out safely, packaged well. The scotch tape drives me crazy, but it is what it is. I'm so glad to have these in my hands, and I cannot wait to go through some of these other comics. Um, in Rage. Yeah, very, very cool. Carl says he's not offended. Oh, no. Oh, no, that means... We haven't done our job. <laughs> That means uh, that he's used to it now. Have you joined the club of, of uh, spine licking? I wonder. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody lick my spine. <laughs> like here. I don't know. That might be kind of. It might be kind of weird. I might slap him. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I mean, like really good stuff. And honestly, you guys, um, that that uh, crowdfund it was on Indiegogo. Very exclusive. Like Very. that is that is not going to be available again. That that will not be reprinted. And with all the shit going down with Arrow Comics, that's gonna be a nice Yay. collector's item. Yep, I I am holding on to that. Uh, so oh. I will not be licking those spines. No licking book spines. No, Carl says. Uh, you know what? We have a quick bump here because I want to give some love to Daphne Lage. Uh, she has uh, one of the most hardest working, consistent creators out there. And um, you know what's funny? Because we were talking, we said something uh, while we were in a meeting and it was like the sparklies, right? And that mm. prompted us to watch The Secret of Nim the other night. Right. And it's so funny because she was saying that that was a huge inspiration for her when uh, when they started uh, this comics journey. So um, if I can find the damn video, there it is. All right, Hi. we'll be right back. Yeah, All right, and right. make sure that you guys hit the button because her notify me on launch button at Kickstarter is in our show notes. So hit the button, hit the notify me on launch and let's get her a good, uh, good boost. Here we go. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can go over to the pre-launch page and hit the notify me on launch button. I hope that you do. Um, I mean, another thing that we've been working on is the the next uh, Boneyard Press. Is that my dog? What is she doing? Go scratch somewhere else. Ah, that dog. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been working on Build the Bulls uh, campaign. And uh, no more bitches. I'm surrounded by them. Oh, my gosh. Arr, arr. Yeah. Um, spill the bowl. <laughs> I need to go back to bed. I'm getting, uh, this is like slap happy. This is stupid. Um, and I haven't even been drinking yet. Oh my God. I get so tired of the fucking spammers. Go the fuck away. Go fuck yourself, bro. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, do I want to become famous? I am famous, bitch. What up? I my name is you are famous comic, you are famous it. to a few people at least right everybody is well, all right everybody I'm is, story is. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was the dog okay i promise my toys are in the other room um and mine aren't <laughs> they're like right here but you know we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> famous or infamous infamous mm. You want to be infamous? Not, no, I want to be the notorious N I T A. <laughs> <laughs> the, the notorious N I T A. Mm -hmm. That's sexy. Yeah, definitely. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't really have anything else, you guys. I, I 
wasn't planning on monologuing anything. Uh, we're just kind of having fun. And uh, well, I mean, the thing is, we we do have uh, we do have stuff on our website, right? So we have a, a website that's up, RagingABC.com. And we do we have do certain services. We do offer services. Um, Not and those uh, kind of services. What kind of services? No, no, no. Uh, it, it's more like the social media pushes, like guaranteed pushes to our network, which is growing. Uh, we're doing rather well as far as uh, um, pushing out content, uh, Twitter especially. And Nita, I did want to talk to you about the thing on Facebook that happened just yesterday. Mm. Sending that private message. Oh, yes. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, if you guys think that your private messages on Facebook, well, Facebook are, private, are private, you have another thing coming. I got a flag and a warning on my account over a private message I sent to my husband, and I was flagged for going against Facebook's code of conduct. Yes, that and she happened. has the screenshots. She has the screenshots to prove it. So if you really think that uh, that your private messages are private. You have another thing coming. And the thing that I posted on your post was that if you have the capacity to download all of your DMs from right. the history of your Facebook uh, account, um, yeah, not not private. Yep. Uh, and and Carl was even PM. saying Carl is even saying they come into the private group and he has to take things down. No, yeah. Apex Comics, I wish I was kidding. That is fact happened yesterday. I got flagged three times because mm -hmm. the first time it flagged me, I didn't understand what was going on. I thought maybe it was she tried to send it again. again. So mm -hmm. I tried to send the same message again to my husband, to my fucking husband. I want you to be able to send whatever the fuck I want to say to you. Yep. And then it flagged it again. And then I got a warning on my actual Facebook account. And then so I oh, put but out no, a couple of choice words. Well, but you also and, you also sent it to me. Yeah, then and it I got flagged and again. Then the same message to Meredith to see. Same thing. And flagged. It got flagged. And I there was nothing uh inappropriate. There were no threats made. That was a little vulgar. Yeah, I'm vulgar. Fuck that. But I should be able to say whatever the fuck I fucking want in my fucking messenger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So fuck you, Zuckerberg, and fuck you, Facebook. But this yeah. is why this is why we uh, we are actually streaming to YouTube. Um, I thankfully I had an old Periscope, so we are streaming to Twitter and as, uh, as and Twitch as well. But um, yeah, uh, you want private messages? You don't uh, you don't do it through Facebook, okay? Don't send your passwords. Don't send critical information. Don't do that. Don't do that anyway. That was no, that. It's look, just a matter I'll even, look. I'll read the fucking <clears throat> message that got flagged mm -hmm. because it's not really that private. Like, uh, let's see. Um, oh shit! Except for my husband's gonna try to text me while I'm trying to read a text. Don't do that, Chris. Chris, if you're listening, stop texting me right now. Give me a minute. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, shit, yeah, Carl says notorious NITA is now cyberbullying her hubby now. Ha, not ha. even wasn't like that at all. Was completely non-threatening, but I was a little pissed because I was having problems with my reservation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to zoom in because apparently so, they removed the message. They just I but I had the screenshot. Oh okay, okay, this is what I put. Okay, so they're telling me to confirm the link in my email. I'm like, there is no fucking email, you dipshits. Oh, well, go change your email address. So I went and I changed my email address to Nita Lanning at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And I went to click the link to confirm. And it sent it to the link that did not exist because I forgot the L on the fucking Gmail at the end the first time. So the confirmation to change my email was going to an account that did not fucking exist. And so I was having problems trying to explain that to customer service through Air Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Um, finally, the fucking idiots gave me a, a damn number to text, uh, our host, which now everything is fine. Yep. But Megacon like, Orlando, you know, what? Uh, uh, you know, Chris brought up a good point yesterday too, but besides the fact that Facebook considered that a violation and gave me this little red dot right here, which later flagged my actual account. So I'm on a warning right now. Yep. Uh, so one more fuck up and they're going to delete my account, which is really fucked up because, I work through my Facebook account. 
Social mm-hmm. media is what I do. I'm not a fucking yeah. spammer. I don't go around threatening people, but I'll be goddamned if people are going to tell me what I can and cannot say. Yeah. Period. But anyway, on yeah. on another on another note, Airbnb, okay? That's a big fucking company. They're making millions booking people for uh, for other people, okay? Why is it you can go to some rank ass site and if you put an invalid email address, like if I typed in need a landing at g mai.com it's gonna flag it as an invalid fucking email why the fuck can't airbnb catch up with that fucking technology one fucking typo about cost us 800 fucking dollars between us and you and pat yeah one typo man fuck you mm-hmm. <laughs> okay i'm good i'm good god no i'm not i am ready to roll let's get out of here meredith her <laughs> bitches be crazy today bitches be tripping today <laughs> Nobody, y'all don't come at me wrong today. Approach me with oh, chocolate. Speaking, speaking of coming at you, we were oh. talking about tags too. Let's oh. do that since oh we're on God. a. Fa- let's do that while rant. we're on a Facebook rant. Let's do oh, it. Let's okay. do it. All right. Look, in the beginning, here's my Genesis story. In the beginning, <laughs> there was Nita, and she knew no one, and everybody, and it was really cool when people would tag me in their stuff. Now, here we are a good while later, and Nita is doing social media management for lots of clients who actually fucking pay her. Everybody and their fucking mom is freely using my name to tag every fucking thing they do. I do not need to be tagged tagged in a fucking uh, book that you're reading. I don't need to be tagged in every draw and talk every time you decide to go live every one of your shows that what is what is that doing to tag me in that nothing however because of that now i'm asking people to stop do not fucking tag me unless you are a paid client a family member or a close personal friend and i hate to have to do that but before i set up guidelines i was like look guys just tag me in stuff you're trying to sell Mm-hmm. and your crowd funders and I'll go through and I'll push you and I'll take care of you and do that and then the next thing you know people are using my fucking name for everything I'm nobody stop fucking tagging me leave me leave me the fuck out of it because from now on when I get tagged in shit and it's not involving sales and we're not friends I'm blocking you I'm done and I will not promote you if you come to me later and that's mm. kind of a big deal. And I'm not trying to be an egomaniac here, but I've, I've, do have I do have. I don't think that's egomaniac. Am, that that I is time. People know that I take the time to do promotions. I take the time to help people book shows. I don't charge for that type of shit when I'm doing it out just to do it. To, well, to, we also to, curate content. I, I, yeah, I go. Yeah, through, I we mean, have we go. Little Bastard Promos is a yep, public Facebook that. group. Go join that sucker. You can shamelessly self-promote your stuff all you fucking want to your heart's content, whatever. I don't give a fuck if you're not ugly to anybody on there. You can post whatever the fuck you want. You want to post some memes because you're feeling like an idiot? Go do it. Do it there. Do it there. People who are tagging me and all this bullshit have caused me to miss very important posts that I needed to be tagged in involving money. And that upsets me. Mm Mm-hmm. Because now you're interfering with my job. And I don't mind promoting people for free, too. But when my paid clients are getting fucking neglected because somebody else is distracting me from what I need to do, then it's time for you to fucking go. Because this is the fourth or fifth time I have put a message like this out here. And I'm not being nice about it anymore. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it again. Well, I'm that, done. That's the thing. It's like, you know, you, you put out the message. You say, don't do it. Please don't do that. Yeah, it was really nice. The first few times, nice, and then, nice. then you're a little bit more direct. And now it's like, stop fucking tagging me or you're stop, going to get blocked. And then block the people you. who don't listen. You're very welcome, Apex Comics. The, the people like, who don't listen, um, you know, that's disrespectful. And they're hurting that means the you're not life. listening. Because now not only am I not going to fucking freely be promoting people that could have just easily tagged me in a crowdfunder. If that people would have just stuck to crowdfunders in sales, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But you got to mm-hmm. tag me every fucking time you go to breathe online. Guess what, bitch? That's no big deal. I'm online every goddamn day. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm here right now. I don't need to see you every time you're on. I don't have time anyway. Yeah. Uh uh, well, see, and that's the thing. It's like my name crossed your mind, mm-hmm. but my job is promotions and sales. 
That is where I'm driven. That is what I fucking do. I and see and, and, and there's and there is that distinction for me. Nothing. Yeah. There, there's the distinction between the the clients who are like they're, they're in the rotation, guaranteed to have a certain amount of right. shares and retweets and you know like blasting it out on social media and then we do curate that's what I little, am, I was little bastard that. promos is for little bastard promos is shameless like she said shameless self-promotion you drop your links in there you can do it every day you can do it uh, you know like we ask that crowd funds uh in fact i have to get in there and do the prompt because uh, I fell, I fell on the the daily prompt this uh, this week. But that that's coming back for crowd funds, whether it's Kickstarter, Indiegogo, uh, whether it is your personal website, wherever it is that you're selling from, we're going to have the daily prompt there, and then have fun in there too. Interact with each other. That's what that is for. And quite honestly, there's so many of you and only two of us right. that when we have that central location, instead of going to all of the other groups that we're a part of as well straight searching there. for you I we can go you, straight and there have, and yeah yeah that that's what it's for and honestly there are there are other uh like evergreen posts to declare yourself an artist to declare right. yourself you know like an artist and tell us if you're open for commissions and by the way you can go in there and edit your post because if you've gotten enough commissions and you want to close it you can go in there and edit what are commissions but people meredith, know. meredith what are commissions paid work what are so sales, right? You want to sell something. Sell something. Go to Little Bastard Promos. It's so much easier for us to go to that one location, find all of you there, um, and then and then click, click, drop your links. It's good. We want yep. you to do that. And then share it, invite your friends and stuff like that too. Again, it's comic book heavy, but it's not comic book exclusive. We have musicians in there. We have filmmakers and writers and all kinds of people. Other um, podcasters. Other podcasters are in there. Everybody is welcome to drop their it links. The world's big enough for everybody. But it is. Respect everybody as well. Yeah. And and to what uh, Carl was saying here, I'm going to put this up. We don't normally do this. I, I remove the tags because really? I don't want all the notifications that someone read someone else's post. There was the problem with that. The problem with that, Carl, is how much time are you spending removing yourself from other people's posts? I had 314 tags yesterday. 314 Two of those were family members, and one was an important one that I needed to catch on a share for a client. Mm -hmm. And I didn't yeah. catch that one out of 314. 314 tags. Uh, how much time would that take to literally go to each one of those and untag yourself? Because it's like, I don't care what you're eating. I'm using this yeah, for I don't business. Care I don't care what you're drawing right now. I, I mean, and I mean, I, I we do. Through. No, the, I can yeah. scroll through, and if I see it and I like it, let me like it on my own. Don't fucking force me to look at everything you do, because honestly, there's a couple of you guys that I'm kind of getting sick of, that I kind of just want to go block right now for the hell of it. So I hope you <laughs> heed my warning, because I mean it, and and I hate that because I am all about promoting and put boosting other people up is what I want to do. Yeah. But I don't that's need what to we do date for that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do. I don't need to see your cat and kitten. I, like I tag Meredith. Meredith's my best fucking friend, yo. Like she can tag me. That's cool. Meredith, I'm gonna lick mm -hmm. your face in Florida. Like next week, that's gonna happen for real. Like the world, you know. As long as you're not offended when I lick your back, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a total it's dog lick. Oh yeah, 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 yeah totally. totally. Down with that. I'll totally. <laughs> I'll be like wipe it on a tissue and put it in my pocket so I can put it in my scrapbook. <laughs> oh no. Okay, never mind. I don't want you collecting my DNA. You're already talking about my hair. I'm so. taking it, I'm taking it. But but seriously, <laughs> like it's like they're taking the joy out of what I what I'm doing because mm -hmm. you're making my job harder for me, causing me to miss out on important stuff 
to see or paid stuff what she for paid stuff mm -hmm. when when to show me what you ate for breakfast lunch and dinner or this picture that you've been working on for three five four or five whatever however it doesn't even fucking matter days but every time you go to draw on it you gotta tag me or every time you gotta uh do a podcast you gotta tag me and it's like they're okay and i am not targeting one person at all there are there numerous are people doing 314 it. tags guys it's more that's more than one person in one day in one day and a lot of those it, it, it were from the same like uh, one person was like eight or nine different things dude i don't care i'm sorry i do care see that's where it's fucked up because i do care and if i see it scrolling through my feed that Which we do. We do. We carry we, our phones everywhere. We're, yeah, we are I constantly am on rolling. social media all day. If you're doing something significant, guess what? It's going to pop up eventually. You, something I'm fun. I mean, we like memes too, but yeah. I'm not going to tag a hundred people no. to see Please it. Stop. Please. Yeah. Yeah. And and how long is that? Uh, how long would they be in the boo boo room? Oh no, I'm permanently blocking. I I am demanding respect now. If they fucking, if, if people keep doing this, I will block them, block them. Once you're on my block list, you will not be promoted by me ever. Mm, she's tough. I am serious because it, they're interfering with my job. So why should I help them with their job? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Serious. I mean, that's what it's come well, down to. Yeah. Yeah. But that. some people, but some people like can fun. Some people can, you know, mend their ways. And oh, no, like, I can be sure everybody's so redeemable. God, if people weren't redeemable, what the fuck, man? I'd probably be in prison right now with my with my girlfriend, Chihuahua. And she'd be like, Chihuahua. Oh, come, 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 come here, girl. Let me hit that. I'd be like, oh, bitch, we just did it before breakfast. <laughs> like, but no, seriously, like, just. I, I don't think you would be in the boo-boo room forever. Just, but it, it, it's a, it's a smack, it's a smackdown. It's like, please That's be, the problem, be respectful, Carl. be respectful of the, of the time that, because yes. people are out there. Uh, Carl says, I, I said it. So I have to approve their posts before they appear on my That Facebook. is the problem because they were doing it so much. I had to do that. Now I'm having to take time before when it was just people who were doing crowdfunding and family, it wasn't that big of a deal. I would go on there. I would freaking look, but now I have to go and approve because I don't want 700 things coming up on my own feed before I'm trying to share something that I want shared out or something that someone paid me to share out. Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the ass. Do not tag me, period. Period. Unless we are, like I said, close personal friends or you're a client. Mm -hmm. and, and that sucks. Because, that I sucks, because there are a lot of good artists who I love freely promoting who have been very respectful to me. In fact, I'll private message a few people and be like, hey, dude, my rant was not about you at all. Mm -hmm. but, like, but yeah, but there's there's some there's some of y'all need to get bent, dude. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm done, Meredith. Give me the fuck out of here because I'm really not OK right now. <laughs> well, Carl says so, sounds okay. like someone so, sounds like someone is trying to steal your feed. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and it's not even. Uh, it's stealing time. Right. And, you know, and we time. are struggling. I mean, we're putting in like 16, 18 hour days. We as are it working is. for three major companies right now that are doing huge things with lots of changes going on all mm -hmm. throughout them. Three. And then we and have we're three, still trying to do our own. And, and we have three pretty decent sized fucking clients right now that we're working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's different, Carl. Carl, you're an exception, dude. Like. We're, we're good. We're we love good. you, Carl. But I'm going to tell Donnie you threatened to lick me. Um, <laughs> and like there was. Uh, let's see. What else? Is that Odin? That's Odin. Nine rooms the, yeah, tonight. Dude. Odin. 9 p.m. You know, this 9 is the vlog. This, this is, is my a, rant. I'm going off where, on people yeah. right now. I love it. We'll, we'll, we'll be civil when you come on tonight. We promise. Yeah, we'll be decent folk by then. We're just venting now and get the shit out of our system. 
<laughs> yeah, speaking of which, we have uh, Michael Odin this evening, Mind Realms Publishing. He's got the embrace. and uh, Beautiful looking, by the way, guys. You really should check it out. Yes. And then uh, tomorrow we have Jing Jin from Symphonic, Symphonic Verses. Verses. He's going to be talking to us about his books as well as his up and coming TV series, the anime series, which is going to be released worldwide really really cool yeah. and then we have jeff weber on saturday um because there will not be a uh backer, uh, shots, on backer shots on saturday because uh people are busy, busy. and uh and he he was uh the only scheduled guest at that point in time and we we're like hey if you can't do backer shots let's uh let's get him on and talk about his campaign as well right. so uh yeah Moden, you're good to go. We will see you this evening. She's called him Moden. I did, Moden. Moden. All right, that's your name. <laughs> we will it's see good. you this evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. Make sure that you tune in. And again, we are simulcasting to several locations, Geek Insider, uh, Comics and More New Jersey, Indie Vault, as well as Rage and AVC. So wherever it is you guys are tuning in from, make sure you hit the subscribe button, share it out to your friends, uh, share it out with your network. Uh, our, our vlog, we just kind of rant and stuff like that. And uh, and it is starting to migrate into like promotional spots as well. So those are all on our that information is on our website. Uh, I just updated it yesterday. And um, yeah, are we hoeing? No, we ain't hoeing. We probably because we getting paid for it. What up? Let's let's get out of here, Meredith. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, make sure that uh, you stay safe, stay productive, be kind. Hit the share button. Uh, I am. I'm thinking about putting that on a t-shirt. Hit the button. Hit the button. Right? Mm -hmm. Hit the button. Uh, all right, you guys. Uh, Little Bastard Promos, please go there. Stop tagging. Um, uh, unless, uh, unless, uh, yeah, no, no, just stop. <laughs> wow, Mary, you took it next level, cunt. All right. <laughs> just. I'm so proud of you. When we get out of here, I'm going to pet you. I'm going to pet oh. you so hard. Oh, yay. Yay. I love to be pet. No, I don't. I hate it. I hate it. Me too. It's like, really, don't touch me. Don't I'm good to stay at a distance. Be like, hey, air high five. Be like. <laughs> yeah, and, and don't give me your elbow either, okay? Everybody tells you to sneeze in it. No, I don't want to go yeah, anywhere near that. that. Yeah. I don't want to cover the elbow. <laughs> All right, Nita, final words. Hmm. Throw my dudes. All right, you guys, we're out of here. Uh, we will see you uh, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern with Michael Odin. That's right. Mr. Moden's going to be here. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Michael.